let's take you to the campaign trail for the race of Toronto's mayor. We will talk about Josh Matlow first, who, facing the audience today, said, Tell Doug Ford, we want green belt saved, not paved. He said that uh, he will be working together with cross municipal green belt leaders to push back against urban sprawl and intervene at the Ontario Land Tribunal when Toronto's interests are threatened. He's going to redirect existing legal and planning staff from only compliance work toward environmental protection work, with a focus on protecting headwaters and agricultural land that Torontarians rely on. He's going to negotiate a memorandum of understanding with the federal government to guarantee future threats to the environment will be the subject of a federal impact assessment. Mark Saunders was out on campaign trail where he shared his plan to unlock more rental housing projects. Mark Saunders said he's going to put forward additional solutions to help build homes faster. He's going to remove barriers to build more purpose-built rentals, unlocking federal and provincial infrastructure dollars and making it easier to secure loans for affordable housing projects. He's going to unlock billions of federal and provincial dollars already set aside for housing and infrastructure and Saunders is going to work with provincial and federal governments to do so. Anna Bailao vowed to reverse cuts to transit and said that she's the one who can convince Ontario to pay its share. Anna Bailao was in Scarborough where she said, Anyone who works with me knows I do not take no for an answer. And she said that I support building a dedicated bus route where the Scarborough SRT currently is. As a councillor and deputy mayor, she said she has been a consistent champion for Scarborough residents who rely on transit. And I am proud to have voted in favour of Scarborough Subway, she said. Candidate Anthony Perusa announced his plan to tackle gridlock. Let's listen in. Unnecessary lane closures across the city are hurting us, creating congestion, hurting local businesses. I mean, look at what we have back here, right? By employing smart, simple construction techniques and solutions, you don't need to do this. Move the hoarding back, create an alternate pedestrian route, and free up the lane. Let people move. This, this closure right here closes two lanes on the north side and the south side, completely unnecessary. And what we also need to do on the big works projects is we need to make sure that those permit fees are hefty so that those guys get off the lanes when they close them, lickety split.